When was the last time you've seen SETSI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, mentioned in the news or mainstream media? I'm guessing it's been a while, if ever. The hype for discovering intelligent life in space pretty much died after funding by the US government stopped. This is maybe about to change. Or is it? After the end of the AI winter in 2010, people were excited to begin applying this novel technological side of artificial intelligence, known as deep learning, into everyday solutions. From entertainment, to finance, to health and medicine, AI has been used as a means of innovation and advancement ever since. When there is a high volume of data, there lies potential for disruption by artificial intelligence. And what better source of data than space itself? SETI's approach so far to discovering alien intelligence was mainly through the detection of radio signals. The idea behind this is simple, but it is based on a huge assumption. If there are any other intelligent civilizations out there, then they might be trying to communicate with us or with their own technology in space through radio transmissions. Therefore, catching those transmissions will provide evidence for the existence of a technological civilization similar to our own. Up until recently, SETI researchers were analyzing data by hand or with the help of automated systems. One of their main objectives is differentiating noise from radio signals that provide useful information. Given the astronomical size of the data being collected through space observations, it is only natural that many valuable pieces of information go unnoticed or are mistakenly classified as noise. Classified is the key word here, because if AI technology is good at something, that is classifying objects. That is why machine learning is now being used by SETI as well as many individual space researchers. It is a trending approach when it comes to categorizing radio transmissions. The importance of building and integrating machine learning models to space exploration is evident. That is why SETI is now investing in AI technology. For example, they released a few datasets on Kaggle in the form of past competitions where they urge scientists and engineers to build models that are able to classify radio signals into categories such as noise, narrowband and others. This approach will surely make the search for radio signals more efficient and accurate, but is this good enough? Or is there an even more promising direction to head in our journey to discovering alien life? In the last couple of years, a renewed effort has been taking place by NASA and other scientists to discover alien civilizations. But this time, instead of focusing almost exclusively on radio transmissions, scientists are now trying to detect technosignatures. Technosignatures are simply put, traces of technology. This might be laser emissions, heat signatures, orbiting satellites, indications of large cities, or massive megastructures like Dyson Spheres and others. Detecting technosignatures is a huge challenge. It is a challenge that humans cannot and should not take up alone. But with the help of AI, we now get a second chance in rediscovering space even from data that has been collected decades ago. Introducing Anomaly Detection Engines. Anomaly detection is at the core of unsupervised machine learning. It is a special type of AI model that does not need predetermined categories to classify space data. Instead, we let that data cluster into their natural categories. This approach has two main benefits. Number one, it helps scientists narrow down their search to specific categories or clusters that we even might have never thought of before. And number two, and most importantly, it allows for outliers to stand out from the rest of the observations. In the best case scenario, these outliers might lead to the discovery of extraterrestrial intelligence. In the worst case scenario, they might offer new information unknown to humans before, 
which in turn will help us broaden our understanding of the universe. Using AI in space exploration and alien life discovery seems like a win-only situation. Does this mean that the hype for discovering alien civilizations is about to return along with substantial funds from governments and organizations? I highly doubt it. The reason for this is that search for extraterrestrial intelligence is mostly science fiction in the eyes of the general public and it does not offer any immediate financial benefits to get the governments interested. That is why most of the space-related funds and investments today are targeted towards planet discovery and most importantly space mining. Machine learning is mostly used for discovering new planets. A well-known example for this are the two new planets discovered by a Google employee back in 2017. In fact, he discovered Kepler-90i, which is the eighth planet orbiting around the Kepler star, making it the first known eight-planet system outside of our own. What is particularly interesting is that he discovered the planets by instructing AI to look at old data, not new ones. Data that has already been manually examined multiple times by other researchers. This is just one use case amongst many others which shows that AI is indeed the key to rediscovering space and why not even finding extraterrestrial civilizations. Hey, you made it to the end. I just want to say thank you for watching and for those that are new here, hi, my name is Yorgos, I'm an AI expert, I really hate that word, and I make mostly AI simulations and upload them on YouTube, and if, I, if I'm not doing that, I'm making videos around the concept of AI and uh, futurology sometimes. So if you're interested in watching that, just subscribe to this channel and even tell me what you want to see next. Yeah, this is it, and until next time, stay safe, and K-bye. Okay,